सो नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द क्वेश्चन इन्वॉल्विंग ज्वाइन इन एट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट बिकॉज वी हैव मोर देन टू थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ज्वाइन सो वील बी स्टडिंग दिस इन सम पार्ट ओके फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड सेकेंड पार्ट सो कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ प्रेटी सिंपल वन राइट आ एस क्यूल स्टेटमेंट टू प्रिपेयर अ लिस्ट ऑफ सेल्समैन नेम कस्टमर नेम एंड देयर सिटी फॉर द सेल्समैन एंड कस्टमर हु बिलोंग टू द सेम सिटी सो वी हैव टू टेबल सेल्समैन एंड कस्टमर वी हैव टू फाइंड दोज कस्टमर एंड सेल्समैन हु आर इन द सेम सिटी सो फर्स्ट वील बी ज्वाइनिंग दिस टेबल थ्रू सेल्समैन आई डी एंड चेकिंग वेद द सिटी ऑफ बोथ दीज आर सेम और नॉट so here select salesman name customer name customer city from these both table where salesman city is equal to customer city and apart from this method we can also apply join by select salesman dot name customer dot customer name customer dot city name from salesman inner join customer on salesman dot salesman id is equal to customer dot customer id because the common column in both of them is uh, salesman id and the condition is where salesman uh, dot city is equal to customer dot city okay so moving towards the second question write a sql statement to make a list with order number purchase amount customer name and their city for those order which order amount between 500 and 2000 so what do we have to print order number purchase amount customer name purchase amount customer name and their cities and their cities so two from this table and two from this table for those order which order amount between 500 and 2000 and at last we have to check whether the amount is between 500 and 2000 also so what do we have to do join these both table again we will be joining this by salesman id so the query will be first joining customer and customer order by id wait a minute um see we have customer id in both of these so we can even join these by customer id because uh, a particular customer will be ordering something na so if suppose i am a customer i have id 1 so i'll be ordering uh, one some pancakes on so the order will be 1 so a customer id 1 have ordered uh, order number 1 and later after 5 to 10 minutes i can place another order having order number 2 so customer id 1 have already also placed another order having order number 2 so we'll be joining both these table through customer id because customer is the one who is joining customer and orders okay so joining these both table through customer id and checking whether the purchase amount is between 500 and 2000 and what do we have to print order number purchase amount customer name and city from the respective tables so this is the query coming to the question number 3 write a sql statement to find the list of customers who appointed a salesman for their job who get a commission from the company is more than 12% so we have to check whether a customer have appointed a salesman and that commission should be more than 12% so we have two tables salesman and customer table and we have a commission here and customer here so we'll be combining these both table through salesman id so the answer will be first um from customer inner join salesman on salesman id and checking whether the commission is greater than 12% or not and 12% represent 0.12 in fraction and what we have to display customer name we are giving it an another name customer name city salesman name and the commission okay coming to the fourth question 
write a sql statement to make a list in ascending order for the customer who work either through our salesman or by own so we have to find all those record of those customer who either works through a salesman or work by his own so what do we want all the records of customer table so we'll be applying left join in it by joining customer left join salesman so what all records will be included all those record having a same salesman id as this and remaining customers also see uh, we have five customer in total and three of them are working through salesman so three of them will be having salesman id and remaining two will be having null values in that salesman id column so those three having salesman id will uh, have the record of salesman also in the output but remaining two those are not having salesman so those two will be having null values in the salesman column okay so printing customer name city grade and name of the salesman its city okay from customer a left join salesman b on salesman id order by customer id so the remaining two which are having no salesman so these two column for those two records will be null so he'll be having no salesman name and no salesman city and ordering this by customer id in ascending order